morning everyone this is uh gardening with vincenzo and today i have an auto repair just purchased a very clean 2008 honda fit with a nice hatch good interior a little bit more than a hundred thousand miles on it but that's okay because three hundred thousand on the engine the engine's clean as can be just purring but as i was going through and taking a look at the vehicle i noticed that uh, there was no jack in the car, but there was a spare tire, one of those compacts. And so I did a little research on YouTube, and I found out as I lifted the tire that the bottom panel inside the well there was just one massive, crusty, rusty, you know, thing. And I saw there were some holes drilled in it, so I immediately knew that there had to have been some water that seeped in here. So I went on YouTube trying to get some information on what could possibly be the problem i looked at the seals that are there because i always make sure i put protectant on the seals because it helps them stay subtle they don't crack that way and they're in good good shape and i noticed that right here at one of the body metal seals that someone had tarred this on both sides in the same spot and I thought, well, that's part of the problem, but they probably thought they had it fixed. And then as I looked along the seal edge there on the top, I don't know if you can see that or not, but somebody tarred that also. It wasn't really obtrusive to the view, but it made me suspicious. So again, I went on YouTube. It took me a while to find some water damage fixing and repairing for this model of the uh, Honda, which was a 2008, and apparently they're noted for this. And so what I did was I looked up underneath here. I don't know whether you can see that well or not. Let me see if I can expand this up a little bit. No, it's not going to do it. Over here in this corner where the seams overlap, the metal seams, there was a wee little gap. And I know that's where the water was coming in. And so it was running down here, getting in back of the panels and laying up on this freshly done up uh, wheel well, the spare wheel well. So I went over here and I did the same thing on the other side all the way up to where the weather strip meets the body there right at the very top. And I put some, as you can see, someone else that went all, all along the seam there to make sure it didn't uh, leak back down into the trunk. So we had a little bit of a rainstorm on the way back driving this and it drove so smooth and the gas mileage is phenomenal as opposed to my 1500 ram truck which i love which i love but kills me now to fill it up so to fill this vehicle up it only has like an 11 gallon gas tank and uh, it was like 43 bucks and so the person that i bought it off the car off of uh, man mount uh, sales jordan was nice enough to fill up the tank but he failed to tell me about some of the uh, issues regarding the Honda Fit. This is my first Honda. So anyway, to make a long story short, right up at the top of the seam where the hatch is, where the metal panels overlap, you end up with a gap and the water runs down there when you have a, a real heavy rainstorm. So I did both sides to be proactive. I see no water trails uh, on this at all so it may not even have been leaking but I'd rather be safe than sorry I noticed that nothing in here was wet or soggy or anything like that as far as the side panels or any of those types of things but I decided to treat it uh, with some extend and I did several treatments so that it uh, neutralized the uh, scale and the rust uh, that was in there because it was all just solid rust and now I'm finishing layering on some uh, gray paint to make the uh, final uh, fix, you know, permanent. Then I won't have to worry about it again. So I thought I'd share this on YouTube because I had a heck of a time finding much information uh, regarding the, the leak on the fit and the spare tire assembly because I need the assembly. But I'm just going to make one out of a wing nut uh, and a strap of metal to hold it in place. But I wanted just to... Do a fast look in here. It's very clean, no rips, no tears. Everything is really nice. No, nothing in the uh, wheel wells that looks untowards. towards. 
front is nice and clean, nice bucket seats. It's an automatic 1.5 liter, a lot of horsepower, a lot of zip. I was actually surprised that it had so much zip in it. You know, everything's good on the side panels and all that type of thing. So I, I got a very good deal for what they're asking for them. It's taken me, oh, probably four months worth of looking. And then somebody said, hey, you know, there's one, there's one here for X amount of dollars, but it's way out in, you know, BFE. <laughs> And so I decided to, to uh, take the ride. It was an hour away, and we spent all day, and I ended up picking it up. So I'm happy that I did. All right, this is a uh, an auto repair uh, video. I hope uh, somebody finds it useful. I tried to make it short, and uh, it got a little bit long-winded. And I, you know, forgive me for that, for being a little bit obtuse. But uh, I wanted to make sure that... Other people who may be in the same circumstance, uh, this might be the cure to their problem. All right, remember to be kind to one another out there. Stay safe and well and help your neighbor if you can. All right, we'll see you.